Around this time last year, Benjamin Netanyahu didn't make much of Arab votes. But it seems the Israeli Prime Minister has since had a change of heart. In the last two weeks, he has visited towns such as Umm al-Fahim and Nazareth, hoping to secure Arab support ahead of the March elections. He says his remarks in 2015, urging Jews to offset Arab voters, were taken out of context. All Israeli citizens, Jew and Arab alike, must vote. It's a democratic right like no other in its importance. My intention was to warn against voting for a joint list. And indeed, a few years later, you all saw that the joint list opposed the four historical peace agreements I brought with four Arab countries. It's unbelievable. Arabs make up 20% of Israel's population. Their feelings about Netanyahu are mixed. Netanyahu will never get the vote of the Arabs. Then I do not think Netanyahu will remain in power after the next elections. I see the appearance of Gideon Saar and I see confusion in the parties. So I do not see a chance for Netanyahu this time. Netanyahu wants to win the Arab votes in order to get 61 seats. That's why he wants the Arabs to get their votes and maybe he gets one or two members. According to polls conducted by the Israel Democracy Institute, more than 87% of Arab votes in the previous election went to the joint list party. But this time it could be far less. Latest polls suggest the Arab alliance may lose a third of its seats come March. Leading pollster Yusuf Makleda says Arabs are turning away from the joint list simply because the alliance has achieved little. Miaz Likud drew just 1.8% of Arab votes last time. But analyst Arik Rutmiski senses an upward turn. There is no political alternative on the Jewish party side because we know that uh, Benny Gantz uh, leading the Blue and White Party is no more, no more relevant party for our voters. Also, the traditional uh, Jewish party of the Labour Party. So the Likud is now the only uh, Jewish uh, party uh, available at this, at this uh, stage. Netanyahu's right-wing bloc is still favored to win. But with a challenge slowly building from the Israeli right, Netanyahu is looking to make new friends against formidable allies turned force. Mustafa Fatih was TRT World, occupied East Jerusalem.